Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the channel today. We are back on Lake H for 48 hours this time. I've already set up. Rods are in the water. I'll just show you where I am. I've got one just inside that cove. One probably literally where my finger is just about. Sort of halfway, three quarters from me to the tree. I did have one on this corner for a couple of hours but I've had not even a bite so I've seen some activity around here so I'll just pop one down there but what I might do um I don't this is my setup so I'm pretty close to the rods so what I'll probably do is might just go a little bit closer to the reeds but not too close obviously and just see if um I could bag one that's Massive fish just jumped out of there in that cove just there. So that swim next to me is out of use due to the lilies. So I could bait boat one out there later on if need be. But in the middle of the island is normally quite good. But that aerator just there will be on at 12 tonight. It doesn't bother me with that. Yeah, the sound of the aerator really doesn't bother me. I can still sleep through that, so it doesn't matter. But hopefully you might get one in the night. There's nothing better than waking up to an alarm going off. Well, obviously, like the bait alarm. Um, so what I might do, I struggle to get up to work half the time. So I might actually set my alarm as a bait alarm. I'll soon shoot out of bed on that one, I think. Yeah, I could be onto something there. Bait alarm alarm clocks. That's it, Dragon's Den, here I come. So yeah, nothing's happen happening at the moment. Not even had a bite. So just play the waiting game at the moment. On the walk round when I got here, um, someone down by the car park swim, swim as I call it. He's had two fish, I think he was a 15 slash 16, the other one was a 26. So that's, that's a good one. Someone else, through the gap of the island on the other side, they've had a 12 and a half pound carp um got someone just fishing you can't see him sort of fishing just there he's not had anything yet either there's another guy on the other side of this island that's not had nothing got jack up there he's not had anything so, just the waiting game, guys. But what I'll do is I'll get back to you in a minute when, um, well, if we get anything. So I'll see you soon. Guys, wicked white again. Ripped the rod off the rest. Nice 15 pound, 10 ounce. What a beauty. So nice and warm as well. 15 pound, 10 ounce. Wicked white. We're off the mark. Another one. 18.5. That was on the pine apple ester. Get in. Morning guys. Another one. Wicked white again. So I've had two on the wicked white and one on the pineapple wester. Um, 17 pound, eight ounce. Beautiful mirror. Good morning guys, it is um, just done overnight on the lake, nothing happened yesterday evening, absolutely nothing, and then I think it was one o'clock, half three and about 6.30 this morning, 
I've had these beautiful fish. Kingfish is just flying past again. I love the kingfish, it's so, so, so nice. But yeah, I'll show you where I've had them overnight. So just in front of that aerator, sort of about, I don't know, two, three foot in front. The middle rod, like I say, it's about halfway between the islands, sort of from me to the trees, about halfway. And then the one that's done two lots of damage underneath this tree here, overhanging tree, just underneath it. <clears throat> so, yeah, so one was from over there, two was from over there. Luckily I have my clutches set actually somewhat loose, which is, I don't always have them loose loose, but this end rod here, when it ripped off, the end of the rod was still sat in the butt, but the rod was coming along this way. So it's coming along this way, it was resting down. The rod was facing this way, basically. So luckily I got to it in time. It just ripped it right out. And that was on somewhat of a soft clutch as well, a loose clutch, shall I say. But I've come on the dark side today. It's classed as the dark side because there isn't actually much sun that gets here. As you can see, look, it's all the trees. It sort of blocks all the sun coming in. Sun just in the background there, waking up. So, to be honest, actually, when I first arrived in this spot, I wasn't feeling overly confident. But I've never fished this one. Someone was saying that it's a really good spot. I've seen a couple of people in this spot and they've never caught, well, yeah, I think they've never caught anything, actually. The last two videos that I've done, um, the same guy was in this swim, had nothing. One was a day session, I think, and the other one was a 24, same time as me. Nothing. I think he had a, a take and lost one. Oh, that's right, I did have a take. Um, I'm not sure what time it was now. Nine-ish? Ten-ish? Actually, about half ten, I think it was. Right-hand right rod again, underneath the trees. Um, took it. Time I got out the door. Stuff in there. So, but that's the aim of the game, I suppose. But I'm going to get a coffee on. Well, I might go back to sleep, I don't know yet. It's about 7, 7.30 now. A bit tired, didn't get much sleep, obviously. So, I'll update you guys soon. Right, I've just had a little walk around the lake just to see if anyone else has caught anything on the way to drop the kids off at the swimming pool. Uh, no one else has had anything tonight. Like I say, some matey uh, down by the car park swim uh, caught, what was it, two, I think, wasn't it, yesterday before I arrived. But nothing else since. I've had three this morning. So, winner, winner. Uh, some two guys, sort of just a couple of swims down from me. So, um, fingers crossed for them that they actually get one. Mate Jack's just gone home now. He's had nothing, bless him, but I know I've been there. Year and a half of blanking on this lake. Slowly cracking it. But uh, I'll get back to you guys when I've got an update. So, guys, got another one. 18 pound 15. I'll give you a guess of which wafter it was on course the wicked whites look at them beautiful beautiful sorry if I've got ketchup all around my mouth just tucking into a nice burger I thought that was nice I'll put the other one on then it ripped off let's get back Nice cheeky little uh, fish whilst having lunch. Getting back to finishing off my burger. And again, underneath 
not this one here, but this, oh, make camera go blurry. Not this one here, but the one at the back tree, just down underneath that. Three fish I've had from there so far today. There we go on a wicked white, right next to the lilies. I'll put the video in just before this clip so you can see them all. But the target is to get that koi. 13.7 is in the water next to the lilies for all of about three, four minutes, if that. So there we go. Let's get her back. There we go guys, I've broken my lake record of five fish so far. The most I've ever caught on this lake, carp wise, is two, possibly three, um, three actually, sorry, I take that back, three. Uh, but now we're on five, but we've still got the rest of the day to go, so, you know, let's hope we can get some more. But in that video, you see, it looks like a koi. Someone was mentioned earlier that there is a koi in here, a yellowy one. Now that sort of looked like it, that was sort of a golden-y. So that is my new target, is to catch that koi. Bring it on. It's called grips. Intrigued to see if these work. Well, I've caught a few fish today, not using these, but I'm going to give them a go to see what actually happens. There we go. This is the finished product. I always put the anti-tangle sleeve just over the the eye of the swivel. There you go, a bit of putty. And a hook. And obviously your chosen hook bait. Right, let's get around and see what she can do. Good morning guys. So not much has really happened since I made that rig yesterday. Um, I put that rig out underneath the tree. I did have a run at 9 o'clock last night on that rig. Um, when I got to the rod, it still had the massive bend in it. Picked it up, striked it, and there was nothing there. So, whether that was just unlucky, or it was something to do with, um, obviously, that new style of hook. I don't know, but I did. after that I did change back to a micro barb, because I thought I don't want to risk losing another one. Uh, had a couple of little bites in the night, but nothing really. So, just going to start packing up now. Uh, I see some matey, a couple of swims down from me. 
he's been pulling a couple out. Um, when he arrived yesterday and this morning, I've just seen one. So I'll see if I can get some info and let you guys know what he caught. But in the meantime, this will be the end of the video. If anything happens before, you know, anything happens, I'll update you. But in the meantime, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!